All right, so I'm joined by Mason Glidden of uh, Operations Calling 2024. Hey there, welcome, man. welcome, Mason. Thanks. Good to be here. Um, so, obviously, it's been a great event so far, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been awesome seeing so many people come through, see Tulip, yeah. listen to great talks. It's been a, lot, a lot bigger than last year as well, right? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, it's it's awesome seeing how many people come through and meeting all these customers that we we've, we've talked to online for, for years. Yeah, yep. yeah, no, I know how that goes. All right, so um, I want to kind of set a bit of context, really. I've, I've heard a lot about um, you know where manufacturers are in their digital journey this time around, yeah. right? and a lot of them are either still kind of starting out, or yeah. they've maybe had some attempts at <laughs> transforming yeah. some stuff, but it hasn't really worked. Yeah. Um, so can you just explain a little bit about how Tulip helps for manufacturing in that situation? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. We obviously see a number of Brownfield customers that are retrofitting or doing the digital transformation again or for the first time uh, yeah. along the way. Uh, I was talking to the customer earlier today that runs uh, about a half dozen different pharmaceutical sites around the world and they're starting their digital transformation journey with Tulip by interspersing apps one at a time in different locations. So kind of creating that seed of digital transformation in all of these different areas. They're not going big bang, they're not going deep in one area, they're starting and iterating and continuing to improve and the composable way to look works with apps, things like that really help it helps enable that iterative journey to value instead of having to do, okay, we're gonna go plan a three year digital transformation roadmap and then flip the switch at year three. They can kind of take step by step along the way. Right, okay, cool. Um, and I mean, one of the one of the big success factors, which I've heard a lot about, also at this event um, uh, and generally in the industry, obviously, is adoption. Right? Yeah. It's all very well to have great plans and, and get the and have the, the right technology. You know, the technologies are there, right? But if the people in the shops don't use it Absolutely. or find it hard, then the digital transformation is, is effectively um, yeah. going to fail. So, so what are kind of the the key factors in terms of making sure that people do adopt the technology um, and, and not overwhelming them. Yeah, right, absolutely. At the end of the day, it's about that operator association, right? And if they, they need to adopt it and use it, yeah. otherwise it's not gonna be valuable and useful. Uh, I think the key is make it useful for them. Go listen to that operator, walk the shop floor, yeah, yeah, yeah. understand their pains and problems, and then build apps that help them. Uh, we see a lot of people using Tulip, say, to interface with an ERP. And you can in Tulip build a way better interface for your ERP than you can by telling an operator, here's how you're gonna go open up SAP and type in all of this information, right? So you're making their life easier and you're you're gonna make them want to adopt Tulip because it makes their job better. Right, okay, exactly. Making them want to use it, I guess, is, exactly, is absolutely right. yeah. the key. All right, um, another, another big topic that, that uh, has been you know, very much on the agenda this year is scalability. And absolutely. you mentioned it a little bit in uh, you know, a few minutes ago. Yeah. But in terms of companies who maybe have had some success on, on one site and then suddenly realize, oh, uh, how are we going to now scale this across our other 15, 20, 50 sites, whatever it is? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that is often a problem, yeah. depending on which technologies they've, you know, they've used in, in, on that one site. Yeah. So what um, are some of the key factors for you in terms of um, making sure that when people, when manufacturers do embark on this digital transformation journey, that they uh, they can scale it easily across other sites. Yeah, absolutely. We had a great talk yesterday from uh, Stanley Block and Decker, which is scaled Tulip across uh, 50, 60 sites worldwide at this point, and how they've managed to mesh that top-down and bottom-up approach. Right? They have a centralized, a center of excellence that maintains their Tulip architecture. Right maintains their connection connectivity to other systems, gives them core templates, core reusable apps. And they've also built this community of citizen developers at the ground up, right? People who know the problems that they're facing day to day and can pull these common components in and then apply them to the specific problems. And I think that's really the key to scalability is finding that right mix of your top down, your centralized uh, group that's gonna own Tulip and your community of shop floor builders and app builders that can that know their problems the best and can apply those in the ways that matter. Okay, fantastic. All right, so um, as I said, adoption and scalability have been two of the big topics this year. Um, looking ahead to Operations Calling 2025, which I guess you know, maybe even twice the size of this one again, who knows? Um, you know, what do you think you're going to be talking to customers about in a year's time? And what are some of the product developments that are going to have happened between now and then? Yeah, a great question. Uh, you know, we're, I'm sure the marketing team's going to start planning ops calling like uh, next week. Oh, I think they already started last week. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it already. Uh, we have a lot coming that's going to further increase how the ways we think about composability yeah. and the ways you can bring together applications and build them more rapidly 
it'll support both this centralized motion, giving you better building blocks from the centralized team to be able to reuse in different applications, but also make it easier to continue building apps and combine them back together uh, based on those existing components. So I'm super excited for everything we're doing with composability there. There's also going to be a lot more coming around how we think about AI and our frontline co-pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be launching some features later this year around app generation that I'm really excited for. And I think as we think about that scalability and adoption question of those brownfield sites, being able to more rapidly make tool of applications off of your existing SOP or form or whatever is really going to both increase that level of scale, but also be able to bring tool and bring tool into into more places. Fantastic. Well, I certainly hope uh, I'm here again next year. I hope so, we have yeah, another yeah. conversation, and we'll Glad see whether those here, yeah. whether those uh, predictions and, and the, the well, stuff you think we're going to be talking about yeah, come yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Mason. Cool. Thanks, thanks. so much.